Vice President Leni Robredo defended her drug war report against critics, reiterating that it is almost entirely based on government data. The Vice President added that it's up to the President now to do what to do with the data on the drug war. To dig deeper into this, we have with us Philippine Star Associate Editor Marichu Villanueva. She's again reporting live from the Philippine Star's headquarters. Good afternoon, Nichu. You were with the Vice President earlier at your Kapihan segment. Uh, what was her reaction to being called the colossal blunder by the President? You know, the Vice President, in her usual um, rebuttal to the tirades against her by the President, she would refuse to comment on quote-unquote insults. She, got, she sort of has gotten used to that insults, but she won't dignify it uh, with any comment. Uh, having said that, the Vice President though advised, I mean, she suggested to President Duterte that at least please re -read, read her 40-page report because it is the count, it contains the first two letters that letter reports that she sent to the office of the president in which uh, presidential spokesman, spokesman Salvador Panelo earlier admitted the president had not read any of that the first two reports that the vice president sent as ICAD co-chair at the time so VP Lenny was saying please read the f entire 40 page report and find out for yourself that there is nothing political nor any attack against the president but it is uh, actually a defense of the institutions being bashed for the so many alleged uh, violation of human rights and about on the extrajudicial killings because she was merely spelling out what she believed and what she learned were the inherent weaknesses of the present uh, anti-drug campaign of the administration and she would and who she was and she reiterated she is, in fact, a supporter of the anti-drug campaign of the government, Charles. All right, um, Ichu, did, did your conversation with the Vice President this morning shed more light, at least um, with respect to her suggestion that, you know, most of the enforcement go back to the DDB or the Dangerous Drugs Board instead of the ICAD and how they could further, or these two bodies could further work together or work better or more efficiently moving forward? Yes, uh, she revealed that the Dangerous Drugs Board or the DDB has admitted that the existing data is way back in 2015 and under the rules and regulations uh, being followed, international standards at least, it must be done every three years. So that was the last time, 2015, and now and the DDB headed now by Undersecretary uh, Catalina Cui Jr. Uh, issued a statement that they are now finalizing the unified data uh, and they are coming out with it by the first semester of this year and the vice president confirmed that she is happy to hear that report of the DDB because the present uh, arguments are focused on the um, data about the uh, anti-drug campaign specifically on those who were arrested those who were su surrendered and those who need to be rehabilitated and those and she did not even uh, highlight the fact that there were about 6,000 6, of those were uh, were killed and are classified as EJ case because the, the suspects were not did not undergo any form of trial or even prosecution. Sean. At Ichu, the president also criticized Robredo's win as VP, and now we have Bongbong Marcos asking for a uh, review of the initial recount results. What was the VP's reaction to this, and uh, where do you see this headed uh, for this coming year? Yes, the vice president uh, reiterated her uh, uh, um, she welcomed the first ruling of the Supreme Court that upheld her margin of, uh, and even it went up than the 200,000 margin that the president mentioned. And she wished that the other partner, that the other contender, I mean, former Senator Bongbong Marcos, uh, should realize by now that she really won and it was a fair and square uh, 
results of the 2016 elections and they can move on and perhaps focus more on the next pre uh, presidential elections perhaps in 2022 without directly saying it by saying by telling Marcos that the thing has been decided so let's just move on Charles Perhaps we should move on from this issue. Thank you, as usual, for your time. Philippine Star Associate Editor Marichu Villanueva, thanks for joining us today.